That went to Brian. Neptune, is this you, brother? Is this you? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I forget that's a that's a mid. Nice setup. Oh my goodness, I actually got cancelled into that. Nice. Nice overall, you would have actually had me there. Nice low parry, did you saw that coming? I'm dead, good shit. Good games. Never mind. <laughs> okay. This not this might not be you. That's not the guy that I think of. Because he would not one and dumb me there. Okay, got him. Nice. Nice, he got me. I shouldn't have went for fully diving in with my duck. I like the effects that he's, he went for. Can I not go for my combo from there? That looked like it would have actually hit me. It looked like I was about to track like really, really, really uh, highly. Holy shit, I thought I was gonna stop comboing. Nice. Oh, I would have had him. He delayed it when he went to attack. Ah shit, I didn't cancel quickly. His combos look really dope. Had a read on that. Wasn't sure if he was gonna do it or not. Can't put no. Holy shit! Can I get this? Yes, I got it. Nice, he got me. Well, even the low can be parried? Why would I do that? <laughs> Bro, I panicked. I panicked. Yeah, that seems to. Okay, it couldn't. That seems like it just like. Yeah, it seems to just auto parry. Nice, he got me. Dead. 
That combo looks sick. Yeah, it seems doesn't seem like you can. It doesn't seem like you can actually get away from that parry. You might have to like actually go for the usual schmick. He gets the big combos here, or not? Gonna go for something else. Yeah. Nah, he got me. Good stuff. I got impatient. Oof. Nice. That would've been cool. Good games. Good night. Uh, Raven has gotten some new stuff too. His forward four now launches. I need to go for it. No, I'm so stupid. I thought I was in stance. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I, I do not know what this guy's doing. I'm not sure it's gonna rematch me at all. Nope, he's not gonna rematch me. The way he played it was super weird. It's like he was just getting onto the game for the first time. Nice, so definitely go for a health sweep. And of course, I don't know why I even try to go for a side dart. Oh my goodness, my goodness! Yeah, dude, you just woke up! And it tracked me completely when he did that. That. It's crazy how good Kazuya is, man. Okay, he's lagging too now. I literally went to go low and then somehow that good games. Good games. Yeah, he has that too. Again, dude, what is with that? They need to fix that. Demon Paul is so stupid. It should not have some suddenly more tracking while he's in heat. Look at that. I can't even get this to work. I have a lot of practice on that move and somehow I can't even get it to work. I wonder if I can...
I can't believe I managed to get that. That's so... See, I can't get that. I don't know if it's because Kavya has a bigger body. Man, even my screen kick wasn't fast enough to catch him. That looked like I was gonna mess up. I'm dead. I can't believe I got him. Holy shit. Both in promotion. Isn't that like he did? He didn't he do like when God fist and somehow my one one two didn't do nothing. Like that's fantastic. Somehow the one one two didn't do anything while well, he ended up using his wing God fist. What? How did he turn around already? I can't even get my power crush. Good games. Good promotion, dude. You earned it. You definitely earned it with Jin. But you did earn it. What the hell, dude? I'm just so glad that the developers decided to nerf Fangways up forward too, but not Jin's. Because that definitely was a design decision that they had to go for. See, that time I got it. Ah, right, here we go. Yeah. That I'm gonna kill. He does it so slow that you can't even barely react to it. Please tell me he hits. Yes! Thank you. 
generate grab shit. Can't see that with the lag. I love how the the down one completely whipped him when I grabbed him. It makes complete sense. Dude, if this guy was any more competent with Jin, I would have died for sure. Okay, Raven. Oh, it's the dude that played so weird with Raven. why my down forward 2 completely whipped, but I guess Okay, I got the round lead. Nice game, boys. I finally reached Tekken King. Finally reached it. And he won and done. <laughs> Alright, so I just want to get to the couple of things with Steve before I end the video. So for one, the journey getting into Tekken King was pretty perilous. I say that in a very exaggerative way <laughs> but basically steve's gameplay is very difficult to pull off any of the stuff that he can do against high level players a lot of the gimmicks that revolve around him like doing stuff like back one fishing to get the counter hits and doing stuff like let's say peekaboo and then if they try to go for a crouch jab you can then go for your up forward two to then mix them up into a big launch or just going to lanehard sense of raw and then just going for your two to go for a immediate launch from there of course, there's other stuff you can do, like doing stuff like this, if you get the counter from the last hit, but it's very difficult to pull off, especially if you're trying to go from a situation where you're blocking the move. So let's say if they do something like this, they block it, they get counter hit with that, big launch. But it's hard to perform. 
because doing this into this is not an actual mix-up, it's actually fake. They can still interrupt you when you're attempting to do this. Even on hit, it's even uh, not as, it's not really good, because even if you hit them with, let's say, this into this, yes, you have more chances to then counter hit them, but if they get hit by this into this, they're going to assume that you're going to follow up into the 1-2 anyways. So you're not going to get anything off of this by canceling out, you're just like messing up your entire follow-up. So I find that the way to use it is to try to catch him in block strings, but it's a fake mix. Because the high level players are going to jab you out of it, or even crouch jab. So the way that I see players at the high level play when they play Steve, the way they use it, they use it at an out of range. They tend to like fake the opponent and do stuff like this, maybe they go for like this instead. Maybe they go for this. Like whatever they're going to be going for, they're going to do it at a certain range to try to get a reaction off of the opponent. I need to work on that more if I'm gonna be playing more of Steve in the future. I do wanna play other characters, but again, that's one thing that I need to work on with Steve to try to bait more of this and not simply just going for back one. But even when I do attempt it, when I have attempted it a couple of times before in the future, in, in the past, I keep saying future, they can still jab me out of this. Which of course they, they can. They can still interrupt you. But that's what makes it really like hard to pull off in a game and so this makes it really hard to uh, in enjoy Steve really at the higher levels because characters like Jin they can get away with a lot of bullshit Alice can get away with a lot of bullshit Dragonov, Fangwei, all these characters can get away with a lot of bullshit and do a lot of mix-up and powerful pressure but Steve a lot of the things that he used to have in previous previous games are, are gone you can't really perform it it's like what I mentioned with my stream on the last stream that I've done is that if I were to do something like this, down forward 2, that used to be a very strong move in Tekken 7. Because Tekken 7, if I did this, this gave you the Shiro combo. But in this game, it only gives you this. In fact, when you get the down forward 2 in this game, this is the stun that you get from hitting the opponent on a counter hit. But in Tekken 7, it gave you this effect. So you have some time to then land whatever it is you wanted to land against the opponent. You don't have to go for the Shiro combo, you can go for something else. But once you... Actually, no, I'm actually quite incorrect here. What you did get was something more akin to... Let's say, doing this. Doing that, but more like the stun version of that, if that makes sense. I forget what it was. Well, basically, it gives you like a heavy stun knockback. And you have to then duck in immediately and cancel it to then get yourself a combo. So the way it worked is that once you get the down for two... Basically, I'll just put up a video here so that way you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. So when Steve does that... You can then get yourself a combo, but in this game you can't do that anymore. It doesn't. It's not performed anymore. And I think that's the one thing that he needs in the game. If they can buff him in Season 2, which I doubt they're going to be doing in Season 1, all they really need to do is simply just give him down forward 2 heavy stun, that then he can go for the Shiro combo. In fact, I wouldn't even mind it if they just give him this kind of state on a counter hit. That way you can go for something like, let's say, uh, do that, into this, blah blah blah, right? I think that would be nice, but again, then what would be the point of even giving him this, into this? He loses out on that particular combo route. So I think just giving back the Shiro combo from Tekken 7, maybe make it easier to perform, I don't know. But I think it will be a lot better that they just make it so that you can combo right afterwards. Hell, if you can do this, into this, sorry. And that instead does like a big flip against the opponent, not a tornado, but like a flip. And then you can then pick it up right afterwards, let's say with uh, forward 2 2 to go for your combos. I think that would be pretty cool. That would be like a easy version of Shiro that they brought, will bring back into the game if they were to do so. And then the last thing that I kind of wish they bring into Steve is that they bring back the unblockable duck in forward 2. This doesn't give you an unblockable anymore. From what I remember, it used to be that you, if they blocked the first hit, the second hit wasn't unblockable. From what I remember, 
And now Steve can't do it. He doesn't get anything from that. And I feel like that's quite stupid because now he loses out in pressure that he used to have in Tekken 7. And now you have to rely heavily on your side ducks and your line hard stance to really do anything against the opponent because now you have to play more defensive and less aggressive which is completely ass backwards to what they want in the game which is to be more aggressive giving him this is not amazingly good because even though it's plus three it's easily beaten by a crouch jab so if they do this and then into this yeah you can do something about it but mind you this is 14 frames on startup if they decide to crouch jab you here on a block, they can catch you. Of course on hit, it's, it doesn't make any sense that you have any problems with it because if you hit them directly, you'll still get the hit anyways. It's not like it's not a like guaranteed string. So I don't understand the philosophy of giving him this particular move in the game. That all it does is give him line hard stance and even though you can not cancel it now by holding back, so you don't have to go into line hard stance, it's still not a very favorable move and the fact that it's a high too so they can just easily duck it if it was a mid i think it'll be better if it was a mid it would be better because at least that way they can you know try to mix up with either back one or try to use then this move raw to catch him off guard but you don't really have that option so if they can just bring back this move that used to be an unblockable in tekken 7 by ducking it twice that would be really nice if they can just do that, I think that Steve will be in a much better state because at least if you were to get that, Steve can then use this particular string and then scare the opponent to duck, to force him to duck because if they don't duck, they'll get hit by the unblockable and you can get a combo right afterwards. And if they do duck, you go for your neutral 2 duck in that then launches them. So you're much better off having that particular type of trait against them. And if not that, then at least you can do maybe this against the opponent. And still catch them off guard anyways. And still be safe. But the whole purpose of it is to scare them. If they still know they're going to go for the unblockable and they make the right read, then they end up ducking it and they launch you for it. If they have a wall setting launch. And if not, then you'll still get launched anyways if you duck it. Which is again a very very strong mix-up with Steve but again I don't know why they didn't decide to bring that back into Tekken 8 in a game that's ultra aggressive to what it is so I think that's the, the thing that I kind of want as a wish list for Steve so yeah summarize Steve needs some buffs needs some new things to really help him out uh, I finally reached Tekken King I am happy but not super excited still because I feel like I just had a big weight off my chest for managing to get Tekken King. And yeah, I'm going to see what I'm doing with Eihachi. Also with Brian too, a little bit of Brian in the future. And yeah, so if you guys like the video, like the video, dislike it if you want to, subscribe to see more of my shit. And if you want to become a member of the Delusional Army, how about joining up and becoming a member of the channel? And yeah, stay tuned. Stay safe.